Hello, today I've come out to the back garden of our house in France and following on from yesterday's video I've decided to try and do some small studies of trees and foliage. In yesterday's video I looked at artists whose work I liked and sketched out elements of how they portrayed trees and foliage. So I'm a bit more nervous today because I'm relying on my own skills and <laughs> um, I can't just copy. So we'll see how this goes. I've washi taped out 12 sections again in my big A4 creation sketchbook and I've got a load of art materials here. I've got a Roman Schmall watercolour palette, I've got some luminance pencils and then in a tub I've just chucked the most common items that I thought I might use. So a few of the landscape heat watercolour brushes, um, there's some light fast, don't light fast pencils. Tosca white pen. So for my first section, I've looked at this tall skinny tree in the centre of the picture. I've just roughly taken the shape, drew it in pencil, and then I've gone round the edges, that's all with coloured pencil, and then paint. So I've tried to put here some of the, the red bush or the red tree that's growing up behind it. I think next I'll try and figure out how to do this oak tree. So here on the right is my version of the little oak tree. I tried this time to put some what I'd call unnatural colours in, so the purple and the lilac, just to give it a bit more interest. And I actually quite like it. I'm going to let it dry. I don't know if I should add anything more in pencil. We'll see. I know I do tend to overdo things when I'm not sure about something. And then next, I'm going to try and paint this big cluster of trees here. So these are the three tall trees. I'm not that keen how they turned out. I ended up having to cover up a load of undergrowth that I'd done with the darker green pencil. And then I just did a pencil sketch of these two trees by the back gate. So here's a more stylized one I did of the oak tree in the back garden and the red kind of lower tree next to it. And then the tall skinny tree, which is down here in real life. I moved on to this side. And then in this last box here, well, I'm sitting in the old well at the moment in the front garden. I'm just going to have a go at layering a couple of these trees in oil pastels. It's quite late now and the light's dying, so I've taken off the washi tape from the other side and I'll just stick with these six. So these are the six that I've done. And they're not amazing, but they are braver than I would have done before yesterday's study. I managed to include some non-realistic colours. I did quite a bit of um, purple and lilac, but that's as far as I managed to go. It's been good practice. It was a lot more frustrating today though than just happily copying yesterday. <laughs> I also wanted to say thank you so much for all the lovely comments. It's really enjoyable realising the similarities in some of our art journeys and I really appreciate it. Thanks ever so much for joining me. Bye!